Hello, my name is Walter. Welcome back to uh, Walter Reviews. Um, I guess it's a review slash breakdown because, as I said in my uh, full reaction video, I wanted to break down uh, more of the food wars, but I was just enjoying the background scenes and how they did it all over again uh, because that's how I watch this anime. I like to watch and then rewatch and then rewatch it again because there's so many things that you could miss or there's so many things that could happen so fast that you could miss it. So uh, this is the start of the blue arc. Uh, if you've watched my full reaction, you would understand why it's the start of the blue arc. Um, so I want to start off with uh, why I think it's so pivotal to start from the beach exam. And uh, there's going to be a tiny hint of spoilers because I don't know how to transition or segue into this because there is actually a sub arc before the um, uh, beach exams, uh, which is the introduction of the underworld or underworldlings that happened. Um, and I think they're gonna set it up further on when they start the food. Food, uh, the blue arc, um, the food wars blue arc, and uh, I I really thank them for not introducing the Nars at all, uh, the underworld people at all, because this is something where you you're supposed to feel very weird and awkward about because um, the w the way they introduced it in a manga as well is is not done properly so I think they really discussed and said you know what I think we should just start from the beach exam and then move on from there but also there is something missing from the beach arc uh, which kind of was pivotal for me in my opinion but I don't wanna I don't wanna overstep my bounds and I don't wanna over spoil because this is something which is very fun to watch and very very fun to kind of wait and see if, if, if it's even at all worth watching and I in my opinion it's still worth watching because uh, a lot of people don't like this art but I kind of like it I kind of enjoyed only for one reason which is because of my wife who Megumi Tadoka Megumi uh, it's really great to see her grow in this arc and I'm not gonna spoil anything further than that because her growth is really really great to see and really really something where it's so awesome and, and I hope that they don't take it lightly and I and I see that they, they like Megumi as well so they're gonna be uh, fully pushing that on um, and, and then in my opinion uh, for me personally I would have liked uh, Yuki Hira to end up with Megumi, but uh, you know, from the first episode of Food Wars itself, it was very apparent that um, the one who push him, him pushes him the most in terms of ideology and in terms of you know, just the whole structure of the cooking world is Eren Anakiri. Uh, and the reason for that is because him and her live in such two separate cooking styles and cooking worlds but at the end of the day what's important is what's on the plate so this is just something that's going to be more pushed into the the whole blue arc um, my expectations for the blue arc is I hope they don't push too much of the supernatural because there are some supernatural stuff happening in the blue arc but not to the point where it jumps the shark uh, nothing nothing in the blue arc jump is, jumps the shark for me because it's still, it's still kind of believable even though some of it is not that believable but I, I want to kind of give it the benefit of the doubt uh, I mean the whole the whole middle of it is going to be very 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 weird but I hope at least the start of it they're going to be very intermittent on pushing uh, 
his whole uh, arc. Because it, it, essentially it is someone Yukira's anime, I mean, you know. Um, so, as I said in my reaction, uh, that you, you're not going to see too many characters going in because they're going to have an ensemble in it already. And I was fully expecting to see uh, some of the characters which initially supported it or not, but now that I think of, about it, you don't miss them. It's more about um, it's more about Erida being challenged, and you you see hints of that in this episode uh, on what she thinks about her own food, and then you have Su Suzuki Sensei coming in as well. He's gonna be a part of it as well. Uh, it's 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 a bit of a spoiler. It's a bit of a spoiler, but. All I can say is he's going to be a part of it, but the way he's going to be a part of it will surprise you still, because it's such a... I think the introduction of him in this way is better than in the manga, but also it does leave you like, what the fuck, who's this character, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think the aggression on book maybe push him a little more to the side but also gonna be really bringing back into it at the end of the day because it's very important and as i said the op is a hint of what's to come because you know he is going to be against soma as you saw in op because they got each other um and at the end of the episode, we saw uh, some of the hints of what's to come because that is the whole backstory of everything. And it's essentially a mother arc, I can say that, because everything is surrounding the mothers in this case. So you're going to be expecting a lot of talk about moms and then also about failure and, and, and you know picking yourself up and a lot of the Japanese themes and, and Asian themes and uh, and also facts of life I mean this is this is pretty much close to the real world as it can be but also there are some leaps of logics that you have to go through in this particular arc um, and also I mean it's peppered throughout food wars so I don't know if it's a progression, it's 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 a evolution. But for me, it's the next step of having something new and having something to challenge Soma's cooking again because this is a different type of cooking. And now that I've seen uh, Master Chef again, and I I've seen like the weird style of uh, plating of food brand. Uh, Ekans in, in one episode, I, I get where they were coming from initially. Uh, so it's it's kind of that weird style that's going to be apparent throughout Blue Arc. Uh, and I don't want to spoil it any further than that because this is again an arc where it's just so interesting to see the dark and the macabre in such an anime like this because in terms of anime, Food Wars is, is very much a light and peppy, you know, uh, challenge to the top or challenge the dad and essentially Aruna Nakiri as well. And, and, that, that, and that still is apparent. And I think the second episode is more likely going to be uh, on the fact that he's going on to, off the blue. Uh, and also who is going to blue so uh, so the father is probably going to come back in uh, most likely because that is the next progression uh, and, and just give him that refreshed sense of uh, motivation for me personally uh, so yeah that's that's just how I would break down the whole arc as non-spoilery as I can be, because I can say a lot of things that 
that could spoil the whole fucking show for you. But I don't want to because this this anime is such a great story, such a beautiful story, and I really, really loved it. I wasn't expecting to love it. I, I remember watching the first episode of Food Wars, and I'm I, I'm like. What the fuck is this show? Like, what what's it gonna be? And then as soon as the peanut butter squid happened, I'm like, that's my protagonist right there. I, I don't know. That's just one of the things. Like, uh, as a guy, you, you tend to do these stupid kind of things as well. Like here, I have some. Here, it has some fucking peanut butter squid. That's probably disgusting as fuck. But I've never tried it, and I'm like, huh? I kind of wanna try it. Just to see how disgusting it is, because that's just how our brains work. Like it's, it's, it's a dumb thing. But if you don't try the dumb things, you don't know how to be smart. That's, that's just how it is, and that's why I love Soma Yugira. And the reason I love uh, Megumi is because I am pretty much Megumi in terms of academics because I, I really am like that and, and I'm, I'm really flustered and I don't know what to do and I, you know, there's there's times that I need people to rein me and, uh, and say look bro this is how you're supposed to do it and then I get it and then I because the way I do it is I, I'm kind of like uh, the way I play games as well it's like I don't I don't really like to watch the tutorial I just jump right in and kind of figure things out from there and I kind of rearrange the thoughts and rearrange the stuff and, and to my understanding and then if I fail then I change the, the you know change the steps change the progress change whatever it is so I think in, in terms of that Megami is, is more my speed of character and it's so great to see her evolve in this anime and also going to be evolving throughout uh, this anime. Uh, I think, in my opinion, there's going to be the last three episodes is going to be focused on the extras uh, and I don't know how that's going to be played out because I don't know if they're going to bring the extras or they're just gonna leave it as it is. I hope they don't leave it as it is because we need to see the proper end of Shokugeki, which is the start of the, the actress as well. Uh, but I don't want to spoil anymore. I'll just leave it here. Uh, so yeah guys, that's about it. Uh, it's great to be kind of back, I guess. Um, it's, it's been a while, yeah. Uh, I don't want to kind of do reactions anymore simply because it's very tiring. Like, it's, it's a lot of work and I respect the people who still do it because I, I just remember doing reactions when I was dead tired and I'm like, I can't do this. Like, I don't know what the fuck to say. Sometimes an episode is just a sitter episode because you're just watching it blind and, and you don't know what to say and that's just how it is because I think for me personally reactions are a, a whole world of diving in what are the thoughts of the person himself when you're watching something when you're when you're you know when you're talking about the show when they're talking about it, you know, but what happens when you start off a show without knowing anything or start off an episode without knowing anything, it can be fairly exciting, it can be fairly enjoyable, uh, but at the same time, it can also be quite boring. So in that case, you know, I, I, I still want to do reviews, I still want to do reactions, it's just going to be things that I really think I can do. like. Food wars, or or something else, you know. So it's it's just probably gonna be food wars because I really love the show, um, and we'll see how far I can go because the MCO only lasts until the twenty eighth. So uh, yeah, it's it's just gonna be about seven episodes max. Hold on, just let me check. Uh, 
11 to the 28th. So one episode per week, that's about two episodes I can watch. So I, I'll be done on the third episode. <laughs> that's not a lot of time. So, hey, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to still be watching it on my own time. Plus, probably I'm not going to do a reaction. If I do, in that case, I'm going to probably do a kind of review, something like this. So, um, yeah, guys, this is the final season of Shokugeki no Soma and it's supposed to be season 4 by the way but I think because they just kinda wanna step back and say no I, I think we should stop at, at 12 uh, because of um, some of the things that, that we wanna do in in, in in the blue arc and yeah so I think I think this has 12 episodes, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken this has 12, uh, food, season 4 has 13, if I'm not mistaken, but I hope this has 13, uh, just that gives him an extra room to kind of let it sit properly, but we'll, we'll see what happens, so, um, yeah, that's about it guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, <coughs> again, if you didn't watch my full reactions, uh, I'm not gonna be doing any special edits. I'm not gonna be doing the intro. I'm not gonna be doing an outro. So this is just a vlog on the computer. Uh, and the reason why I'm I'm doing it like this is because uh, it's easier to put the the link in the description for Veron uh, from the computer than it is on phone. So uh, this is just me uh, coming back to my roots, but also. Um, step back and see how I can go from from this island. I'm not gonna be doing anything special anymore since I'm not being monetized. So uh, this is just me trying to figure out how I can still be doing YouTube and still doing stuff for free because I don't I don't really want the money because I mean if I if I had money it would been better but I I just did this because. Again, when I started YouTube, I just wanted to do it to vent, and I really had to step away from the fucking whirlwind that was academics, and that's why Joey's story is great as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See you then.